Today I want to talk about how to use the color wheel. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Svob and welcome to my channel. I've been an artist and a teacher for over 30 years and I've decided to start this channel to help you become a better artist. Now if you stay with us, I will answer your questions on a weekly basis about how to become that better artist. Now the color wheel is something that really talks about color theory and in practicality, artists don't use a color wheel. So what I'm gonna do with the color wheel is show you how to use it as a Frisbee and talk about how it really works. Now, there are a lot of terminology used on a color wheel, complementary, analogous colors, discord colors, hue, all these different things. But what really matters in painting is what happens when you take one pigment and you mix it with another and you put it on your painting and what it looks like. The things you really have to think about when you're painting, as far as color goes, is the idea of warm versus cool and one color's warmer, one color's cooler, that's how you see different colors. The other thing that matters that people confuse color with and temperature and all these different things is value. And value is how dark or light something is. So a dark red is still a red, a light red becomes a pink. People use different words to describe red. Pink is red, red is red, and then there's dark red and everything in between. Now, pink is a cool red. Orange is a warm red. That's the way I think about color. Orange is a lighter version of a warm red. If you start adding white to it, you get a pink, so color gets confusing. Now, when I say the practical aspects of mixing up paint, you will find when you work with pigments, on a color wheel, if you add yellow to blue, you get green. Quite often in painting, if you add yellow to blue, you get something else. If you add yellow to black, you get green in painting. You don't get a darker version of yellow. You get a green. That's the practical way it works. So what really matters is what happens when you mix the paint on your palette as to how it looks, not what happens on a color wheel. Now, there are some things on a color wheel which I use in painting. One of them is the idea of colors being complementary. So red and green are complementary. What that means generally is they look good together or they sit well together. So you'll notice in painting, sometimes your painting colors will tend to fight with each other or vibrate. That's because you have what I call discord colors. They move visually. If your paint sits well together, if your colors sit well together, that's complementary. Now these are all things you see in painting. We all see the same way. So what you have to go by is what happens. Don't plan your painting from a color wheel. Execute your, plane, execute your painting and plan your painting for what actually happens on your painting. I hope you found this information useful. Now, I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. Thank you for watching.